Oh, I slept so good. I had seven hours. It's the first time or more than five hours sleep in like a month and a half. Last night we had three hours sleep, like the night before, and then we just rode for seven hours. Man, what a time. Alrighty, so we just packed up. We are ready to rock and roll. We're actually just gonna go down the road to a cafe, get a bit of a solid feed in, do our business in the toilets there because uh, there's people here and you know, let's get a feed and then we'll ride to Byron. You! Yurala! We're in Yurala. This is where Yurala Australia is. That's where I did the shoot a couple of weeks ago. Nico, hello. Good morning, sir. Good, good, good time in the toilet. I don't, I don't, I don't like sleeping in tents, but I do like places like this. So, oh, uh, yeah, I know. He's so angry. I'm so angry. He's, he's, in my coffee, he's been man. to the bathroom. Oh, now he's angry. <laughs> yeah, we haven't eaten or nothing, so uh, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna have my coffee and then I'll go to the toilet because that's how I work. Gone. Gone. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff. Rockers, juice, coffees. Oh, man. Yeah. That was damn tasty. It's probably the, the most wholesome meal. <laughs> wholesome meal. Uh, so now we're gonna check out, we're just gonna visit Ural, Australia. Just visit the peeps, show our face, say g'day, and then we're pinning it. It's going to be a good time, good times. So yeah, a couple of weeks back, a couple of months back, sorry, I was um, I was here, I did a shoot for him. They launched their two-wheel drive, their two-wheel drive Ural sidecar. This thing was insane, it could climb up mountains in the sand and everything, just kicking both wheels. It just happens to be that, you know, Ural Australia is in Ural, it's pretty funny. But yeah, they've got a couple of customers in there at the moment. I think we, uh, I think we attracted them. Uh, but they, these guys are awesome. If you're ever in Ural and you're, you're vibing on the, on the sidecar type vibes, check these guys out. They're, they're fully decked out. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this. Ha, oh, making purchases. He's on the purchase. Russian motorcycles, man. Yeah, because Nico is actually Rush, Russian. Rush. He needs to slow down. You to slow down, man. What? You're always Russian. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, looks sick. 100%. Ah, uh, there she is. Hey. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of, a bit of paint there in the back. Yeah, yeah that's right. Oh wow, yeah right. And Matt's had the seat off. It's um, so good. Because he's had the, the, the lining of the seat coming off. Oh really, yeah, okay. Yep. This is it, this is the two wheel banger man. So check out the, the hub here. So usually, this is the first of, the, of its kind being on the left hand side, being in Australia. Usually they're on the right hand side. So they had to reverse engineer the whole hub and everything like that. There's the axle in there. But man, this thing was so impressive. Like, just sand, like getting up to the sand and getting up on the hills and everything. It was a great, great time, great shoot. Awesome locations. Um, just being we couldn't get to John's property because that was where we did most of the shooting. It was incredible. Stunning hills and everything. What's... Oh, really? <laughs> Nick's going all out. Could have done to me this <laughs> Worst and best thing. So once Nick was done purchasing pretty much half of the entire shop, it was time to kick it up towards Byron, which took us through Dorigo National Park and what was some of the most incredible, actually it was, no, hands down, it was the most incredible twisty section I've ever ridden. I live for corners, man. I love them. I love them so much and I've just been waiting for this for so long. And to have about an hour and a half worth of twisties in one hit, I was pumped! I wasn't too sure how to make this segment work. I was gonna have one screen of just my stuff and then just have Nick's screen with his stuff. I was just like, how am I gonna keep flicking between the two screens? So I thought, stuff it! We're going double screen, baby. Let's do this. Yes, read my mind. Legend. Street Scrambler versus Tiger 1050. Get some tight twisties. Look at that. Rob using all sides of the road. Clinic. Put it on a clinic here. Heavy on the front brakes. So much top weight. Far out. I feel like I'm running with a pillion. Nice. Oh, Rob just. Rob has 
has so much of a lower center of gravity than me right now and he has I mean, all he's doing is sitting at maybe third gear with two and a half thousand rpm but it's just all straight torque Rob is a goner, all I see is his rear brake. 
far out. The guys, the guys, the guys, the guys. Jesus Christ, I'm getting taken to school here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh, I'm getting out biked here. Far out. Like stuff wow, I'm just having a crap of a time on that street's ground. That thing floats around tight corners. So planted. Especially now that you got those foxy boys on the rear. That ass is sitting down while he cranks the power. Unreal. These roads are stunning. Far out, look how tight that turn is. Oh, guys, this is how. This is a, t I should literally label this video. Leader bikes don't mean anything. Yes, I absolutely obliterated Nick around these corners, but in his defense, he's not used to his bike. He's only had it for like a month or two. I've had mine for a year and I damn love cornering on it. So much so that I've created a series on YouTube. You can go back here and check it out. Link is right there and in the description. It's a playlist of all these cool little five minute rides I do on different bikes going through all these epic twisties. So go check them out. In the meantime, we'll stoke to see water. And we also decided not to take the scenic route up there just because it would have taken about an hour, an hour and a half longer than the freeway. So we took the freeway instead and that was a mistake. It's a little bit windy! Whoa! There's too much wind. You know, it's just like pushing your face into the back of the helmet. Look at Nick grabbing his luggage. Freeways are hella boring, as we all know. But we got to our com nice and absolutely wrecked. Zong. There's nothing left of me. I am done. Oh, my neck. Oh, crap. Can't believe I didn't lose anything. <laughs> yeah, true. We're, I was like, man, 100% something's gone. Yeah, because that, man, that headwind was insane. Literally throwing us. Throwing us around. That was so, that was so gnarly. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, they're cooking, man. Look how much. Like how much is worn down? They're literally full blown flat. I like it. there's like nothing there, man. Wow, they are cooked. By the time we get home, there's not gonna be anything of them. What an absolute mission. Oh, I am let tired. Oh my goodness, I'm just that's a nice little park there, look at this. I can just chill out. I just man, I like I just don't I just don't wanna ride anymore. Oh my ears are so sore. I've had to wear earplugs this whole time home hey? just because of wind noise and trying to save my ears. But man, they like the pressure of the wind just pulling back just constantly for like bloody three hours. Oh, takes it out of here. Um, Nick's checking in now. Keen to check this place out. Keen to explore this area as well. It's going to be sick. So from here on in, we don't have to ride that much. It's just like we're here. We can do whatever we want. Get on the beers some more. Actually, we really want to go exploring there. Be mad, drop all the gear, have light bikes for once. But then, yeah, from here on in, we go from here to Dorigo, which is where we pretty much just came from. Actually, way less. It's only like maybe three hours or something. Three hours is nothing now. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just like, it's just three hours a day pretty much, which is sick. It's just so sick. So we can muck around a little bit more, get some more action shots, get some more juicy tasty content instead of just running everywhere and pitting everywhere and riding 700 kilometers in a day and all that garbage takes it out of you man far out so sick okay let's uh let's find out what nick's doing and then uh let's check into this bad boy man man nice but nice look with three this time they're getting more and more we're getting more and more beds soon we're gonna have 20 beds in a room I might sleep there, and then I'll sleep over there. <laughs> or we both sleep in the same room tonight, and then we both sleep in the double tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's so much, there's so much stuff I want to get around here because this area is so incredibly stunning. Um, all right, you, Rob. let's drop, get our gear in here, and then um, <laughs> we'll get some beers. <laughs> Yeah. The boys are dressed up. 
<laughs> the boys are dressed. I'm, I'm actually not. I'm wearing the um, Ugly Bros pants because I didn't bring anything clean. They're on my clothes here. They're literally all dirty and wet board shorts and dirty jacket. Uh, and then dirty pants there as well. Uh, so we're gonna bounce. We're gonna bounce and get some beers. I'm not gonna take you with me because this is our alone time now. <laughs> now nah, we're gonna get heaps loose. I can't wait. Holy crap! I, I'm actually probably gonna pass out. Honestly, I think that's. I think that's more like what's gonna happen here. So the Uber or the taxi? You got a taxi? Uber. Uber. We got an Uber. It's like the one Uber that's around here. Um, he's here in like six minutes now. So um, we're gonna bounce, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Might have a bit of a headache. Or I might be really well rested. We'll see. We had some beers. It was nice. And we slept, which was also nice. We're just heading into Byron Bay to pick up a certain package from a special somebody. Maybe he has Rob's delivery. Oh. No. Rob got his own delivery. Of dry packs, you guys are legends. Amazing, we're in Spanko, ready to rock and roll again. Day 10, baby, let's do this. How good's that? Usa for the win, man. I was so stoked, and we're about to do it just before he realized we have to do the old switcheroo. I want to ride his bike, he wants to ride my bike. Let's see what this thing's all about. This is such a big bike, man. How good does it sound? I already miss it. I want to ride my bike. Alrighty, full blown ADV styles. I feel so high up. It's actually the highest thing ever. Oh man, how cool a mirror's been up here. I can see my bike so easily. Man, it looks sick from the, from the front with all the lights and everything. Steady lights, baby. They make my bike look tough. I definitely can see the the appeal with uh, the old triples and the leader bikes and everything. But man, like the speed's cool. I feel like anyone can pin it down a straight and go really fast, like mad, mad times, good times. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm so happy with mine because I feel like if I had all this power, I would use it and I'd probably neck myself. Uh, actually, I like 100% I would, like 100%. I like, I like the sound of my twin, the twin just, uh, it just does it for me. But I will be doing the TEC cam, the upgrade, so I have the power right through the bottom and through the high because the high just cuts out on the, str uh, on the street scrambler. But they did that on purpose, man! Because otherwise it's like it's too close to the damn 1200s. Actually, that is fact. That's fact. So upgrading the uh, to the TEC camshaft will put it up near the, uh, I think it's like around 85 horsepower, from 55 horsepower, which is nuts. So it'll be, it'll keep up with the 1200 scramblers. The 900 will keep up with the 1200 scrambler once you do the TEC camshaft. It's nuts though, that'll be mad, it'll like, it'll just be so good just having that power ride through the entire, the entire range. But anyway, this thing's pretty, yeah, I don't know why I was having so much trouble going around corners, it's nimble as fuck. It's so nimble. I'll put it down to the operator. <laughs> they also had heaps more weight on here, only use a bigger dude. I feel like I could hook this around like corners, like actually hook it so hard. Keen to open this up though and see what it's got. Well, let's see what it's got, very soon. Yeah, it's there man, it's got the balls, it's got the titties. That's like with my bike, it's tame, you know? You open it up and it's just like balls, like it sounds fat. But you're not really going anywhere, you're safe. Our bikes are so different, man. <laughs> the windshield actually does a lot, that's it's a, good, it's a good windshield. Mine, I feel like it's still a little bit short, you still get smashed in the face a little bit by the wind. Sort of deflects it off from your chest, which is awesome, but it still pushes it in your face a little bit. Maybe even like, maybe like there, like to the top of your, to the top of your arm visor. There it is. Yeah, it looks good, man. It looks good. <laughs> that looks so sexy. I love that bike so much. Oh my goodness. It's me, man. This is my bike. It's me. It's literally me. He's riding me right now. Oh, listen to it. But it doesn't go anywhere. He's way too big for it. He needs a 1200. But it sounds freaking sick. That looks sick. It sounds so tough. I'd love to do these around the corners. I oh, see that ground man compared to these like oh, I way prefer mine.
guys. It sounds incredible. Wow. But like it drives itself. This is like it's a comfy bike. It's just so comfortable. Like oh my goodness. Cool. It's time to hit the final border of our trip. Queensland, man. Queensland. And on the way, we'll stop through Melawimba to meet up with a friend of mine, Jody, who was just up there having a little froth on her own. Did you hear that? I think I'm at your bike. What is it? What is it? CBR? A little CBR? Is it the CBR? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, the, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's your bike. You can see me. Oh, the KC, there is. Okay, g'day, mate. Shall I pull over? Come on, we'll go over here. This is Jody. G'day, mate. How's it oh going? God, you look completely terrifying. This is Nick. Hi. I feel like I've met you, but I haven't actually met you. Can you turn off the phone call? I have cold music in my phone. <laughs> I fully thought I heard my name. And I was looking around. I couldn't see any Asian people. I thought we'd been. Thanks, man. Uh, chill out, young one. I need to clean the fins out of this radiator, man, because it's fins are always on. It's full her, though. It's her style, like 100%. Full on fire blade. <laughs> but she loved the MV Augusta. Oh, I wonder if she had a little, uh, a little, <laughs> a little thingy. At least she didn't, she didn't snap any levers, any shift shafts. Oh, look at them chicken strips, eh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> where is she? We're fully bagging her out, and she's not here. Holy crap, are you serious? You literally just go Well, just for like, no. when I'm in the city and stuff Like, around here you don't need a phone at all Because it's like, one road Yeah, uh, ish. ish This looks sick, hey? It's full of your vibe As soon as I- Yeah, I thought you would That's so sick As soon as I saw it, I was just like That's Jody! Yeah, yeah, that's right I'm a girl I am a female Uh, sh should we do? Yeah, so you're gonna have to- You're gonna go up to the border? Yeah You sure? Yes, we have to like, it's like, we have to do this. Let's do. Ride like a girl. Look at this. Friends. Friends. <laughs> Yay. I'm not alone anymore. And the ride up to the border was insane. The beautiful Byron hinterlands through the sugarcane fields. Up some more twisties. It was absolutely stunning. Oh, you did as well, sick. I mean, there's a full speed camera down here of some sort. Wait, is this? Oh, this is the border. This is it. Wow, this is it. What an absolutely stunning end to an incredible day. What a change, hey? What a drastic change from the desert. New South Wales is absolutely incredible. Only four more days to go to the end of this epic journey. Oh, there goes my water. Ah. Oh man, so it, turn, well, it turns out first that Nick dropped a bottle of water as well. So we're down to two bottles of water. Yeah, it was, it's, it's not there anymore. Hectic hair. Let's check out the bikes again. We are dusty. Man, that was a dusty trail. Look at it though, it's caked. But damn, this place is insanely nice. 
We found a sick little trail down there. Uh, we're gonna go for a mad swim. I'm so keen to explore all this area from above. I'm gonna send this, the drone so high up. It's gonna be so high that we're probably gonna lose it. How good's that gonna be?